This video is sponsored by my wonderful patrons. If you'd like to join my Patreon, the link is in the description box below. If you want to get a glimpse of what's available in my Patreon, stay tuned for the next 25 seconds. I like me for me. I'ma be what I'ma be. I like me for me. I am who I wanna be. Don't need no apologies, just peace and serenity. No thought to the jealousy, wonder woman identity. What it do, what it don't, what it should, what it show. What it wouldn't, what it won't. Um, what it would, what it won't. Anyway, welcome to a new video. How are you guys doing? Um, so today's video, we're going to be reanimating a scene from the amazing Superman. I'm gonna try and do it with a time constraint, either five hours or ten hours. I'm going to decide when I'm done <laughs> which time I could do it closer to. Hopefully five hours. But realistically ten hours. But yeah, this is gonna be fun. Let's see how it goes. I'm excited. So boom, let's jump right in. So to create the rough animation, I did this how I did my live stream where I reanimated the Little Mermaid, um, Ariel. So basically, I look and I try to draw what I see. <laughs> I wish I had like a proper lesson to teach you here, but honestly, as I've mentioned before, I'm figuring things out just like you. I'm not the best person to come to learn how to animate. I can tell you the things you can use. I can tell you how to use those things. I can't really give you proper proper lessons on animation so I'm just winging it I just treat it like life drawing when you're doing life drawing you're looking at an object or a person or a figure and you're trying to draw what you're seeing so that's what I did for this as well I look at it and I try to recreate it with a lot of like pausing and playing pausing and playing until I can get something that I'm comfortable with so this video is going to be quite long, so I don't want to bore you with the full time lapse. So I'm going to be posting a second video tomorrow, which is going to be like the complete time lapse um, of the entire thing for those who want to see the entire process like play out. So look out for that if you're interested. So I decided to add the title card super last minute, I actually did them last but I'm so so happy that I did because they were truly the best part of this whole video for me at least um, because I really love like old school cartoons so for the inspiration behind them I went deep in my nostalgia bag. I wanted to try and replicate like the same energy, the same vibes of my childhood cartoons like Tom and Jerry, Looney Tunes, that's all folks, Hannah Barbera, Barbara, Barbera, but Hannah Barbera <laughs> and of course the main inspiration behind the title cards the Roger Rabbit shorts seeing as my second favorite movie of all time is Who Framed Roger Rabbit I just had to include like some Roger Rabbit inspiration into this using the Procreate pencil to sketch the Max Pax brush to ink and the studio pen to flat things were starting to come together on my Patreon I have like a step by step of the entire painting process for both title cards although a typed up version of like my painting process should already be on my Patreon by, this, by the time this is live if you want me to create like a video tutorial on this painting style do let me know in the comment section below and I will get right on it 
For the second title card, I was definitely more inspired by Hanna Barbera title cards. I even went as far as to use a font called Bedrock. Um, I made two variations, one with blush and jewelry, like fully inked and coloured, and another one with just their shadows because I thought it looked kind of cool. So I couldn't decide which one to use, so I used both. So the first part of the video plays um, the coloured one, and then after a while it like fades into like, just, just the shadows. I have already mentioned in a previous video that I greatly adore older cartoons because of their approach to backgrounds. So while modern cartoons have a more semi-demi realistic approach to backgrounds with like a lot of detail, objects are usually drawn to scale, they usually appear how they would appear in real life, older cartoons tended, tended, tend, tended, tend tended to break realism apart to its most simplest form um, but often ended up having like something more creative than where they started. So although this is quite a very simple background and didn't really require me to do much, I was greatly influenced by the background work of Kim Possible. It's very flat, it's mostly just shapes and textures, it's abstract, it's unruly but ultimately it's cohesive. I began drawing the background as a loose sketch, trying to copy the background of the animated Superman. So I wanted a picture of blush to be on the wall, but I didn't want to have to draw up something brand new. So I pasted in an existing drawing of blush and used the distort tool to bend it into perspective, I guess. After this, I inked in black using the Jacinki brush and then began to add color. I wasn't sure what colors I wanted to use, I just knew that I wanted something monochromatic. So basically just one color but like varying shades of that one color. After putting down the colors, I set the line out to alpha lock and colored them in with the color of the object that they bordered to give the illusion of lineless art. For the texture of the walls, I used the burnt tree brush under charcoals. I used the exact same color of the walls but set the blend mode to multiply and I used a clipping mask to keep everything in the wall. I have a couple videos where I talk about colour and clipping mask. Um, I have a video where I talk about colour theory and I, I have a video where I talk about the most effective ways to colour in Procreate which is about clipping mask, alpha locks, layer mask, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to link them down below and also attach cards at the top right corner of this video. For the animation style, I decided to take inspiration from Ed Edanetti's constant shaking squiggly lines. Even in complete stillness, like instead of having them like having the same line held, for example, like Pop of Girls or really just most animations, Ed Edanetti's creators would redraw a new set of lines that left the line art always looking like it was shaking. So for the first look, I decided to have it just be her main costume that you see her in on here on the channel or on my Instagram page or on my Twitter. For the next look, I just went along with the source material really. Miss Gypsy had a bikini and an umbrella and so I gave Blush a bikini and an umbrella. <laughs> However, I gave her this short bob, this short fringe bob, uh, mostly inspired by my new hairstyle. <laughs> I got lashes by the way guys, I got lashes. I've never had lashes like this before. I look so different, I look so cool. <laughs> like who is she? Oh my God. Anyway, I, I digress. <laughs> For the last look, I decided to have her in a night dress and a bonnet. You know, like she was giving up. She's like, oh, F her, I'm done with her. I'm giving up, I'm calling today, I'm going to bed, good night. So that's why she went in a night dress and a bonnet. By the way, I have or will have some paintings of both of these looks available on my website datafurple.com um, for sale. So if you would like them or would like to get one or two or some of my other prints, kindly do check that out at datafurple.com. <laughs> Joy was my first ever OC. She was created back in 2016 for this comic idea I had. Her animation is coming from an old 2017 animation that I tried to do, but never finished. Does anyone have any batteries? What for? Um, I figured why let it go to waste. Reduce, reuse, recycle. So that's what I did. I, re <laughs> I 
I reused, I recycled, I reduced and so I cut it out and I placed it in the animation to make sure it was working and looked good and then I traced over it and turned her into Joey and that was pretty much it. I changed her signature till jacket to grey just for like colour harmony sake. I feel like she was looking too blue and the blush was looking too red so just something like to tone it down a little bit. All compositing and edits were done in After Effects and Final Cut Pro but for the sake of the length of this video I'm not going to speak about it in much detail but if you really want me to make a video again don't forget to let me know in the comment section I don't want to make videos that no one wants to see like I want to know that what I'm making you want to see and you're looking forward to it it makes me feel good that I'm making something with a purpose so if you want to see it please let me know in the comment section below and I will make a video on that so here's the finished product It is here, it is short, it is sweet, it serves no purpose in my life but it is cute and I love it. Um, so yeah, that's it. How long did this take me? On God, I really don't know. <laughs> I took a lot of breaks. I took like week long breaks. I took like two week long breaks. <laughs> but Shasha, any hey, any wow, any who, I got it done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on the Twitter streets, the Instagram cabin and the Patreon, 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 Patreon fortress, Twitter streets, Instagram sidewalks and the Patreon roads, streets. No, Twitter streets already. <laughs> Twitter streets, Instagram sidewalks and the Patreon curb. Bye. Thank God I... Thank God I had a smack of bitch today. Ooh. Catch a case. Ooh. Put the shit right in the face. Sweetie! You're barking too much. Somebody start filming.